Um, I picked a scripture today to talk about for our children's message, and we're just going to read it and dig a little deep into it and see what it means. The scripture comes from Genesis chapter 2, verse 15. It says, The Lord God took the man and put him in the Garden of Eden to work it and to take care of it. Now, I had this prepared back on Earth Day, and for some reason we couldn't do it on Earth Day, so I thought it'd be a good one to do today. Um, what do you think it means by to work the land? If you hear those words, what do you think the scripture means, to work it? Any ideas? No? Well, when you hear the work, when you hear the word work, I think of chores at home. Do you think of chores? Um, does your parents plant a garden? No? Um, back when I was little, my parents planted a garden, my grandparents planted a garden, and in the Bible it says um, that we should till the land and keep it, and the word till, I used to hear my grandfather say, you know, i got to go out and work the garden and till the garden up and get it ready to plant, and it was a piece of machinery that he had that had um, like teeth on it, and it would go around, and he'd push it over the dirt, and it would take the dirt and turn it over and break it all up and make it soft, and then you could plant seeds in the dirt, and it made it easier for the seeds to grow and sprout. And then it would provide fruits for people to eat, like crops, corn, vegetables, potatoes, onions. So when you work the land, you work it to have food or even like cotton, clothing, things for us to wear. You can make things out of. But you also have to keep the land. And with Earth Day, think about protecting the land. How do you think we might protect the land or keep our land protected? Definitely put a fence around the garden. It would protect it. Think of your natural resources. Do we protect our natural resources? Like things that God made, like water, the river, oceans, the mountains, all the different things. We need to protect them. Well, God says we shouldn't work all the land. We need to protect some of it, too. So think of, like, national parks, places where you're not allowed to work it. Because God created those creations, and it's a place, um, sometimes when we go out camping, we go on trips, and when we're walking the paths out in the mountains and things, I actually feel closer to God. Because God created those, and it's nature, and it, it, it just makes, it makes God more real to me. So I actually want to pray to Him more when I'm out in nature and around Him. So it's important that we protect nature. So you don't want to work all the land. You want to protect some of it, too. So with um, Earth Day just being a few weeks ago, I thought it would be important just to bring that up today. <clears throat> and I think we should celebrate Earth Day every day. Don't we want to protect our land every day, not just once a year? So I brought some garbage bags for you guys. I'm going to give you each one. And if it's okay with your mom and dad, when you go home, if it's not raining, even though raining's wonderful, we need to be thankful for that because God created rain and we needed that rain this weekend. I want you to go out and pick up garbage because we want to protect the land around where we live too. So around your home or just in the neighborhood, if you guys could just pick up a little bit and make uh, protect the land around your home. Okay? All right. Let's just say a quick prayer. Um, let us pray. Lord, we want to thank you for this occasion to think about your creation and our duty to be good stewards of, this, of these gifts. <clears throat> Help us to know that each of us has a key job in caring for the earth by the choices we make and by the actions we take. Let us use good judgment and act with care to show our love for you and what you created for us, earth. So, happy Earth Day every day. Amen. Very good.